Welcome back everyone to the Citizen Channel and our continuing build up to the Palace game. Yes, Palace versus City on the 14th of March 2022. We've had our History Boys show. Uh, hopefully you've watched that. We've had our preview show and now we're doing the odd show. So we're going to have a look at any value that we can get on this uh, Palace versus City. Sellers Park, of course, 8 pm kickoff. And charity, yes, guys, I let you down again. We let well, we'll let everyone down with the sporting game on the charity bets. Uh, very disappointing. I mean, when you get a nil nil with City, you, you, you're gonna it's hard. You're hard pushed to make any sort of uh, money on that unless you've done something like the corners or cards or something. Obviously, I had both teams to score, which you couldn't, we couldn't have been further away, could we? With both teams to score and over three and a half goals again, we couldn't. We couldn't have been. I should have known better. As as the game progressed, I thought, what have I done? Because <laughs> I, I just couldn't see many goals. Is it? You know, within about twenty minutes of the game starting, it just looks a bit dubious. Hey, but I'm. Onwards and upwards, we've got three bets today, so I'll, sp I'll split one of the half bets into another half. So hopefully we can get Charity back on back on track. Of course, there's always a city lean in these odds. I will be giving st some sort of information on Palace as well, as, as I'm bound to do. And please, I don't condone gambling anyway. Only bet, please, what you can afford. And when the fun stops, stop. These are the only bets I do on the football at the moment, just for charity. I don't do any personal personal bets i just do the charity bets and a enjoyment hoping that they come in for the charities and i do any losses we make i take the hit on the losses and any profits go to the nominated debt cancer charity at the end of the season right let's check out some value on this game please if you've not subscribed yet please push that subscribe button push the bell notifications i do city past present and forever lots of call it so it's like a, it's like a magazine vlogger it's obviously Harks back to the late 80s when I, I sort of had a, an attempt to do a Manchester City magazine with Manchester City, but it all, all fell through, unfortunately. So I do try and sort of cover the sort of things I would have been covering in a magazine, but in, in a vlog. So that, that's how I do it. And please, uh, if you do like that, press that subscribe button. Please, thumbs up, guys. Give us a thumbs up. Uh, that's absolutely great as well. Make an old City fan very happy. Right, the prices, the match odds. Yeah, City are one to three on, so not the shortest price for City to to win a match as you, as you expect. It's it's not an easy proposition going to Sellers Park, Crystal Palace. Have a have a good record. We'll talk about that more as we're going through this. A draw is four to one. You can actually get a little bit better than that in a couple of places, but that's generally four to one. A Palace win is 10 to 1. So if you're a Palace fan, it's worth putting the odd 50p on that one. My 11, this is my City 11. This is what I've based all my little bets on today. Uh, if you want a, any reasoning behind this 11, uh, as I'm looking at this now, it's not changed. I don't think based on what, what I know so far. It's obviously I've not had the Pep's press conference or anything like that yet. But uh, I'm going for Edison, Walker, Stones, Laporte, Cancelo, Rodri, KDB, Bernardo, Grealish, Foden and Mares as my starting eleven. Let's see how close we get with that one. Uh, shame there's not a, a little odds on that. I've got it right a couple of times this season, but not not much. You know, I've got, I've got been close, but not all. Got right a couple of times and a few. You know, I've not been really bad. That's the only thing I can say on the positive side. But like first goal scorer, yeah. I mean, if it's not City, it doesn't bode well for me. I, I, I dread to think they go a goal behind at Palace. We we know they can uh, hang on and and get draws and turn turn losses into draws, etc. So that does worry me. First goal scorer, you've got Mares at seven to two, Foden eleven to two, KDB and Grealish are both six to one. Bernardo seven to one. If you didn't fancy Zaha, who's sort, I think he scored five in the last eight appearances for Palace. He's fourteen to one with three six five. So again, te little tempting, little prices for Palace fans on this one. Anytime goal scorer, this is what I'm usually more interested in, where there's a little bit more value. I tend to look at stuff around two to one or more. And you've got KDB and Grealish. You get twenty-one to ten. Uh, that's quite interesting. Certainly on KDB, he should probably do another goal, isn't he? Bernardo's twelve to five. He's all he can always nip in. If you did fancy Zaha at some time, any time goal scorer, I don't mind it being a consolation goal. You can get nine to two with three six five, and a John Stones yeah coming up for a corner. Uh, you can get eleven to one with bet three six five on John Stones. So that's that's interesting. Both teams to score. Will Palace score? Well. Hopefully not, but 
if they do, let's hope it's a 2-1 and 3-1 victory for City, which I sort of more or less predict that could be the score. So, yeah, if you look at both teams to score, no is 4-5 to five on, but yes is 21-20, so it's odds against for yes. So my first charity bet, my first half of the pot, if you like, my charity bet is yes, and I've got 11-10 to 10 on that, so odds against. So I've gone with that, and as I said, hopefully it will be in a 2-1 or 3-1 victory for City, but I have gone both teams to score yes, so that's the first charity bet. Looking at the correct scores, I think City will win, but as I said, I think it, I think it will be a close game. All these prices are, are three six five on a City win. Uh, one nearly seven to one, two nearly six to one, a two one City win is nine to one, a three nil is eight to one, and a three one is twelve to one. So they're all all good prices. As I said, I do expect it to be close. I don't really expect a 3 0. Uh, it's always close games between City and Palace. I, either way, a draw, if you fancy the draw, you get 0 0, you get 14 to 1 on that, you get 1 1, you get 10 at Hills. And for a 2-2, you can get 22 to 1, which, again, is certainly not unreasonable to expect a, a reasonable scoring game as well. And if you did, if you are a Palace fan, I'm not saying any City fans should do this, but for a Palace win, a 1-0 Palace win is 25 to 1. A 2 0 Palace win is, which is what it was obviously at the Etihad, but this is at their place, is 90 to 1. 90 to 1, we bet Victor. So if you, if you fancy that, 2 0 Palace fans, or even some City fans, but let's whisper it. And a 2 1 Palace win, which is not unreasonable, you can get 33 to 1. We bet three six five. Let's hope none of those come off, come off anyway. Half time, full time. Yeah, I mean. I'm hoping, oh dear me, I'm, I'm hoping for a City City, but I'm, I'm obviously drawing City possibilities. Uh, but I can't, hopefully, let, let's hope it's nothing more than that. I mean, a City City is 20 to 21, so it's slightly odds on. A draw at half time and City to win full time is 3 to 1. A draw to win and Palace to win, again, good value for the Palace fans is 20 to 1. And a Palace and a Palace, so winning at half time, again, as he did at the Etihad and winning at full time, you can get 20 to 1 with Corals. And Palace and then a draw where we pull back in a similar vein to Southampton away where we were behind, but we pulled back. At 22 to 1, you can get on Palace and then a draw full time. I, I am leaning, fingers crossed, to the City City and the draw of the City. And the goals over under, sure, surely it's not going to be high, high scoring. So, I mean, over two and a half is eight to 11. So, that, that's okay. That's okay. So, that's be three goals in the game. But if you fancy the tight one, under two and a half is six to five as well. But under three and a half, which again it could be, but you're more likely to go over two and a half on that basis. But under three and a half, so three goals or less is one to two on, which is a bit mean. So I'd be tempted by the over two and a half. I, I, I can think there's going to be three goals in this, so I certainly won't put you off over two and a half at eight to eleven. And the winning margin, this is where our second charity bet is, is split in half on this one. I've gone for a couple. A winning margin. City to win by one goal is 11 to 4. City to win by two goals, you can get 3 to 1. I've not managed to get as high as that because I bet the exchanges are only a couple of bookmakers. But uh, that's what you can get on City 1 and 2 if you shop around. Crystal Palace to win by one goal, you get 11 to 1. To win by two goals, you get 33 to 1 with bet 365. So my next, if you like, Charity bets, as I said, I was, I was a bit disappointed. I couldn't get a little bit better. Uh, the win by one goal, I got 27 to 10. So I've split this charity bet into two. So obviously this is the other half of the charity bet, which has been split again in half. So I've gone for one goal at 27 to 10. So that's not too bad. That's pretty close to the 11 to 4. And I've gone for two goals at 53 to 20. So that's a little bit down on the 3 to 1 but. Either of those come in, which obviously we can't both come in, can they? Either of those come in, at least it, it's money for the for the charity. So let's hope City win by one goal or two goals and both teams to score. So yeah, so what we say, three one, two one, doesn't matter. With money for money for the charity, let let's hope. So let's hope not another nil nil. That's for sure. And before we go today, finally corners, yeah. I had a look at this. I was tempted by the under 10 and a half, but it is what the bookies are, are favouring as well at 8 to 11. Uh, over 10 and a half is even. So on the basis of value, I would possibly say, yeah, why not? Why not? Let's have an attacking game. Palace can break and, you know, get corners. So why not over 10 and a half? There's certainly no reason for that. So that's certainly a better option, isn't it? 
So there we go. My two charity bets before we go, guys. Let me know what you've done. Let me know what you fancy. Please keep your fingers crossed for the charity bets for me, as long as you don't go against what you're doing. But I mean, tell me what you've done after the event. You just let me know. Let me know if you have a, a little win or whatever happens or what, what you've done. I'd be, be great to hear back from you. But our two charity bets then are both teams to score. Yes, at 11 to 10. And our other half of the charity bet has been split again into another half just to give a, a little bit better chance. City to win by two goals at 53 to 20 and City to win by one goal at 27 to 10. So we'll be more than happy if two of those three bets come in. If one of them comes in, fair enough. Still still money, but uh, fingers crossed we can, we can do it. We can't win on all three, obviously, because <laughs> well, hey, sometimes you have to cover your options and hopefully I have done there. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Have a good rest of day. Have a great one. Look after yourselves, look after your friends, look after your families. More important, let's all look after each other until we meet here again. On the cities in Chile, I only ask one thing, don't I? Please stay safe, Blues. Come on, City. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.